Hey, LinkedIn, something that comes up a lot, we have a lot of calls with customers, obviously, and, and uh, we're in B2B, we deal with some very large companies, and something that comes up a lot is we compartmentalize things into certain, what we call quadrants, so you have like pre-sales and sales and post-sales and things like that. Anyway, um, a lot of companies end up getting stuck sort of focusing in what we call quadrant one or pre-sales, and they do a lot of work there, but then it's not really converting into quadrant two, which is sales and following through and closing deals. And um, you know, there's very various reasons for that. But but um, something I talked about today is just the idea of like going after net new logo and, and the linear approach to that. Um, and you know, I, I think there's a lot of whiz bang, a lot of things that are going on. There's so much noise in in marketing and online and everything you're trying to do, but Sometimes we get distracted. We're trying to automate this. We're trying to create this campaign over here and all these different things. And 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 you have to do those things, but you also have to remember that that there, there's got to be a one-to-one -one approach, a one-to-one -one element to it. So you've got to identify the exact audience, right? You've got to identify who are these people. And you don't want to assume, oh, we know they're... Just skip saying that. Just basically go, okay, let's, let's take a look in a new unit of time. Like, Let's look at our customers and let's look at who we're dealing with and you know, let's look at that data and then from that data build out something that we can mirror and then from that you can figure out, okay, what's the message and then from that you can figure out, okay, what's the pitch and what's the video and what's the deck and what's the landing page and then what's that sequence of events that we need to create and then from there it's like, how do we reach out to these exact people um, and break through the noise and get to them, get their attention and then drive them into the sales cycle. And then how do we orchestrate the sales cycle from start to finish and, and sort of mirror that buyer journey so you can get deals closed. And I, and, and I think that, you know, in many ways it, that's kind of missed out or not being done. And, and over the years we've been trying to automate things and creating so much you know, noise that, that you, it can distract from the simplicities, basically. You're just like, so focused on the complexities, it distracts from the simplicities. And um, and you have to do both, you know, you have to do both. And I think there there is there is that sort of 360 approach. Uh, you gotta canvas the internet, you gotta canvas the web. Like, who's your buyer, where's your buyer? You know, are you doing the LinkedIn ad campaigns, are you do the Twitter ads, are you doing the, you know, um, or now X, are you doing the YouTube, you know, commercials, or you're doing all the social media content, you do the content strategy, you have, you know, the demand gen uh, approach and everything that's happening, you have all this stuff. You, you do have to have that to make sure you're in front of the buyers where they're at. But there's also just the simplicity of like, are you going directly to them? And then do you, are you armed up with the right things that you need to get to these people, to say the right things, to present the right thing, to sell and close it, basically, right? And I think that as the economy changes and the market changes, like that's all the more important. It's time to get very effective and efficient and very, you know, one to one, especially in B two B. You know, and I can't speak for you know e commerce or uh, direct to consumer or anything like that. But when it comes to B two B deal making or enterprise sales or something like that. 100%. And even just coming to me, it's like, I get, you know, people don't take it far enough. They just, they kind of have an anemic approach. Maybe they just email or they have a sequence of emails, but that's not going to do it. You're going to need to sort of orchestrate the entire approach. So more than just the sequence of emails, right? You're going to need the assets, the deck, the case study, the, the, the experience trailer, the stats, and, and, you know, there's a whole list of things that go into it. And if you do your homework and you do it correctly, you're gonna sell them. You're gonna sell them. But I think a lot of people are just taking an inefficient approach. So basically just a lot to say that, well, you do have to do all the complexities and, and be everywhere and do all these different things. You also have to focus on the simplicities of making sure that you're going directly to your buyers and speaking their language and, and being relevant and, and taking your pitch right to them, right? Because that's where you're gonna win deals. And, and again, in business to business, you know, one of the biggest errors you can make is this is the biggest area where, where all companies, like all deals kind of get stuck, is just selling the wrong person, right? So if you're selling the wrong person, it, you know, you're just running on a treadmill. It's like you're not going anywhere. You got, you got, you have to sell the right person. It's more comfortable to sell the wrong person, you gotta sell the right person.